action. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Alan from Cracky Kissed Adventures. Um, so, I get asked a lot, how did I get started? Where did I learn how to sail? Um, and so, here you go. Uh, I have no memory of it, but I'm told that I went sailing sometime between the ages of four and six for the very first time. Um, my first real memory of sailing is uh, I was around 12 years old when my family bought a 27-foot Bayliner Buccaneer um, and started sailing on Barnegat Bay and, uh, and Sandy Hook in New Jersey. Um, and so we'd go sailing for summers. Uh, and you know, I, I learned some stuff doing that. You know, I got used to, to sail trim and um, Please go on. Okay. So I get used to, I, I get a little bit used to sail trim and you know, putting sails up and putting sails down and dealing with lines at the dock and stuff like that, you know, but just a little, you know. Um, and then uh, when I was 25, um, I helped deliver a sailboat from Sarasota, Florida to um, Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, it was a 31 foot Cherubini designed hunter. I don't remember what year the boat was. That was with uh, with my friend Griffin, um, and you know, uh, so did that trip, and then oh god, probably about a year later, uh, Regina and I bought our first boat, which was a 29 foot Cascade, a 1967 Cascade, um, and we really just lived aboard that boat. We we took it out sailing maybe five times. We got our asses kicked just about every time. Um, yeah, I think we had like two good sails in that boat. But, uh, and then, um, and then we bought our west sail uh, a few years after that. Um, and our west sail was in Florida. It was in uh, Marathon, Florida at the uh, Marathon Marina. I think it was. It might have been the Marathon Marina and Boatyard. Anyway, it was on the hard when we took delivery. And um, and I knew how to do boat work at that point. I'd done a whole lot of, you know, fiberglass repair and, uh, and uh, plumbing stuff I was familiar with. I had some basic uh, experience in 12-volt wiring, working with cars and, and you know, previous boats. Uh, I had basic experience with household electric from you know, working on houses and stuff like that. And I'd been a, an auto mechanic. So, you know, I had a pretty good foundation. A little bit of experience in woodworking, stuff like that. Um, and we sailed our west sail from Marathon to Key West and anchored out. And I got a job on the Schooner Western Union. And the Schooner Western Union is really where I learned the finer points of sail trim and seamanship. Um, I worked on that boat for, uh, I want to say a little over a year and a half. Um, I started out as a deckhand and worked my, my way up to first mate. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not so arrogant as to say that I'm the best first mate I ever met, because I'm sure as hell not. There were, there were guys working on that boat when I came aboard that, you know, deserve all the credit for whatever skill as a mate I had. And also deserve all the credit for helping to turn me into the sailor I am today. Um, so after the Western Union, um, we, s Len. we, s excuse me. And Captain Len. And Captain Len, yeah. Captain Len is the man. Um, Captain Len taught me so much. I mean, it's not even quantifiable. Hi, that Captain. guy. Hi, Cap. <laughs> he's uh, he's in Tarpon Springs right now, working on a refit of the Western Union, which is uh, the Florida um, State and Tall Ship. So, anyway. Uh, so then we sailed our west sail from uh, Key West up to Naples, and then from Naples back to Key West, and then from Key West uh, we sailed it up to um, Charleston, South Carolina on the outside. And then we went up the intercoastal waterway to Norfolk, and went up the uh, Chesapeake Bay, and then up the Delaware River to Philadelphia. Um, and then uh, I did a, a trip from Key West down to Guatemala. I did um, Guatemala to uh, La Ceiba, Honduras. I did uh, Guatemala 
to Key West again, and then I did Key West back down to Guatemala, and then I did Key West to Mexico. Um, and I, I had a couple other deliveries in there, and, and you know, day sales and all that stuff. But that's, you know, that's my sailing history. It, it amounts to around, um, I guess I right around so 10 or 12,000 sea miles. Um, and, uh, and I have more than a year of verifiable sailing, you know, professional sailing, um, and years of boat ownership. And I guess, you know, we've lived aboard uh, off and on for the better part of the last seven, uh, the last 17 years. Yeah. So, and we've done some trips in that time. So there you go. That's my sailing history.